guys, it's Anna in Warsaw. Welcome to my channel. This video will be probably the most useful for those of you who are thinking about buying their first uh, luxury handbag because many times if we buy our first handbag and it's very expensive handbag, we have our quality expectations set up like really, really high. And uh, I just want to let you know what you can expect uh, what can, where and how uh, with some of Louis Vuitton or Chanel handbags. I will tell you my point of view. First of all, the most popular handbag is Speedy. This is Speedy in the Mere Ebin. And uh, this one is quite new. I have not used it, but if you are buying Speedy B, or just speedy in the mere aban, what is the worst you can expect from this handbag? The wear and tear on corners. After a while, it won't happen probably in the first or second year, but after. It really depends how much you're using the bag. I had a bag uh, which was Louis Vuitton speedy, 35 in Damir Ebin and after a couple of years of using it and I used it a lot because at the time I had uh, three luxury handbags and this was my favorite very light and it fit a lot so I used it a lot and it got here red corners so this is the first step before the canvas starts cracking and uh, first the corners will turn red Another thing that can happen is like here, these parts here can get a little bit tarnished, but this is not uh, like a big problem, yes? Or you, can, you can't you can really get water stains on this one, so this one is quite weatherproof, which is great. And also the handles, which are made from treated leather, the handles are just great you know I always wear some rings and I held this other handbag that I sold uh, last year I held it very often like this and the rings were were all over the place and I had no scratches it was great so the treated leather is great it will wear very very well moving towards another speedy this one is also new well I mean it's pre-loved but uh, it's like new. I will just tell you what you can expect. In terms of monogram canvas, I have not seen the red corners anywhere. So you can get a little bit maybe tarnished corners, but they won't be red. And as far as I've seen many, many pre-loved speedies online, they may have very very dark vachetta handles and these vachetta parts but they could be dirty but the canvas is great especially on the vintage Louis Vuitton speedies so I think this is a very very good handbag and to be honest if I had to choose one I would probably pay more and go for Mon Monogram with treated leather handles because it looks very beautiful it's very unique and i think this bag will like look great like forever here is um, my eva clutch that i've had for years i've been using it a lot a lot and like everywhere like i was never babying this bag and i just want to show you how dark the vachetta leather can get and you know the canvas is perfect and very often I overstuff this handbag and Vachetta is like perfect it's even better than it was when it was new and the strap is also quite dark but still in very good condition another item that I would like to tell you about is my beautiful mini pochette and I love it very much but I got it with the print because I wanted it to be more unique and I'm not sure if you can see but the print is coming off so 
This does not make me very happy. That's the thing you should consider when buying um, when buying Louis Vuitton with prints. If it's gonna annoy you, then don't do it. Just get a regular one. Just Another Louis Vuitton handbag that I've had, I believe since 2011 or 12, and I used it like, I mean, a lot. Mainly during summer, and it traveled with me. It was on the floors in many airplanes and you know I wasn't really a good mummy to this one so you can see that the vachetta is very dark and the handles are dirty but very very soft I will show you now the corners they lost some of the print it got lighter This is what you can expect when you get um, the Azure print. You can wipe it with baby wipes without alcohol. I mean like this part, so the dirt comes off. This handbag can also get quite dirty if you wear dark jeans. And also the interior. It is dirty and honestly, I have no idea how to clean it and maybe in one or two years, um, I will just send it to a handbag spa. They probably have a way of uh, washing this bag uh, or cleaning it somehow. Another thing that um, here, it got really, really dirty and I'm not sure how to clean it. Another thing is like a friend of mine has exactly the same handbag with the same GM size, never full GM and she has it in um, monogram canvas. I actually bought it for her, I think, in Italy, and I brought it for her because at the time we did not have a Louis Vuitton boutique in Warsaw. And this is her only luxury handbag, and she's been using it for her computer, for her work for years now, I think since 2011 and 12, like every day. And her facetta leather in here is super dirty, and starts cracking so but you know it's been used like heavily another quality issue that could happen potentially is the glazing comes off this is Adele wallet great condition wallet but what happens with that kind of finishing it can lose glazing and actually all of these lose glazing at some point and after they lose gla glazing if you don't go for reglazing i think you can do it the canvas will start cracking it happened recently to my husband's um, pocket organizer and he just took it back to louis vuitton in warsaw um, but I don't believe uh, he will get uh, he will get it fixed because in his ca case the canvas starts cracking like the cracks are tiny you can barely see them it kind of like starts cracking but I don't know how they are gonna take this uh, we'll see I will let you know with these kind of wallets I don't think you can expect um, any particular damages here and nothing probably will happen if you even overstuff it i've had this wallet for a year and used it heavily and definitely overstuffed it and the glazing is still there it looks still good nothing really happens so far luckily so this is pretty good wallet and i think i like the zippy wallets very very much so i can highly recommend it to you Okay, now I can move to Chanel and Wallet on Chain. I will not cover the other Chanel handbags because nothing has happened to them. And maybe Wallet on Chain shows a little bit more wear and tear. And not only because it is um, lambskin, you can see there are some scratches, but I have a product and I can easily take it off. So this is not my worry. But what worries me is like the change of shape. I've been using this bag, you know, not that often really because it's lambskin. So, but it is changing shape. 
as you can I will show you because of the way how the chain goes up here so it is getting this kind of shape which I don't really like but it is so satin soft and so such a beautiful handbag that I love it anyways I mean of course you can get wrinkles here but that, that's normal wear and tear it's just leather so it's very beautiful it's very important to moisturize this bag and probably nothing bad will happen with it and will it will last for years so that's it for today I hope it was useful for you and that you will find it especially useful if you are thinking about buying your first Louis Vuitton or Chanel handbag in terms of what you can expect. These are just my experiences. Could be that some other people, some other luxury handbag users will have different opinions and but I hope it's useful and uh, thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.